This is one of the most requested chairs on this channel, the Herman Miller Cosm. You guys can see it's a modern, crazy, aesthetic thing going on here, and it comes at a hefty price. Now, I've had a chance to sit on this for a very, very, very long time, playing hours and hours of loss, I mean, working, and uh, I can tell you that I think I've got a good handle on what its pros and cons are. Let's get honest. This video is sponsored by Aeron International. When I was a teenager, I blew up my back and when I went to the chiropractor, they almost laughed at disbelief in my x-rays because they told me I had the back of a 50 year old man. And this put so many things together for me because any chair I sat on would start to kill my back after just like a few minutes to a few hours. That was until I discovered the Herman Miller Aeron. And I love that chair so much because it was the first chair where I could sit on it for hours upon end without back discomfort. And it's the reason why I created a video called How to Buy a Used Aeron. And I don't seem to be the only one who loves that chair. That video has over a million views, but one of the biggest comments that I got from my European friends was, hey, this is possible in the US, but we can't find cheap ones here in Europe or in the UK. And that's the problem that Aeron International is trying to resolve. What these guys do is they go out and they find refurbished Aerons and then they fix their most commonly worn out parts and they want to get it into your hands, my European and UK friends at an affordable price. So check them out at the link down below and use my code honestly10 for 10 euros off. Links to the Cosm as well as every other Herman Miller chair is down below. If you want to pick one up, please use them. It really helps this channel a lot. The Cosm comes in three different size configurations, the low back, the mid back, and the one I have here, the high back. And I'm going to strongly recommend that for most people, you go with the high back version, unless you're very short. I'll explain a little bit later on in the video. Now, even though it comes in three size configurations, that sizing only refers to the height of the back, not the overall chair. The dimensions of the chair across all three are essentially the same. So that means the minimum floor distance from the floor to the seat is going to be the same across all three. And this chair does get very low. And I believe it can accommodate people who are as, as short as four foot 10, all the way to the tallest freaks of nature out there at like six foot seven and above. If you're on the shorter end, you may wanna go with a mid back so you don't feel like you're being swallowed by the chair. But for everyone who has quote unquote average height at like five foot three or above, you may wanna go with the tall back because when you lean back, this back is so high that it actually gives you headrest. Now, if you're super tall, like six foot two and above, you're not gonna get headrest, but you will get incredible shoulder support, which you don't find on like 90% of chairs out there. The Cosm comes in multiple color configurations. This here is the Canyon Red. I got the red because I really wanted to pop on camera and because I was tired of all the black and gray chairs that I get. And what's really cool is that the mesh actually matches the color of the frame. Really quickly, only about 6% of you guys watching are subscribed. So if you like my content, please get subscribed. And if you wanna help others find and build their perfect office setup, please like this video and comment down below because it tells YouTube to push this video out to others so that they might be able to find their perfect chair and their perfect office stuff. In an effort to bring that number up, I'm doing a $500 desk giveaway. You guys have only 10 days left. So after watching this one, check out that video down in the description below. As always, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up, starting with the casters, which come in two variants. The carpet only caster is gonna be all black, whereas the dual floor caster has a stripe down the middle that matches the frame color. As always, these casters are great. They work well on both surfaces and they're very quiet. The legs on this chair are pretty skinny, but they are flat and they're just wide enough that if you wanted to rest your foot up there, you could. However, because the seat depth on the Cosm comes out so far, that if you try to rest your foot on this leg here, the plastic will dig into your calf. However, we do need to talk about that leg a little bit later because it does play a unique feature or function in this overall chair. When you look under the chair, it literally has one adjustment feature, which is the height. And that is because this chair uses what they call auto harmonic tilt, which means that when you sit in it, it will automatically adjust to the pressure you exert on the chair. And if that sounds like marketing BS, I promise you it's not. It works and it feels really cool. So if I go ahead and sit in it, oh, by the way, the first thing that you'll notice about the chair is that look especially at its arms. You can tell strongly by its arms, kind of by the front, that it's leaning forward a little bit. And the reason why is because that's reminiscent of the Herman Miller Aeron and the Herman Miller Sail, which have the forward tilt, which allows you to tilt forward a little bit, reducing pressure off of that lower back, giving you a lot of lower back relief. And and so if you wanted, you could sit a little bit more forward in the chair to have kind of that same effect of that forward tilt that you get on those other chairs. However, if I exert any kind of pressure back, you're gonna see that the chair moves back a little bit. And this, I'm putting zero pressure on my feet and thighs right now. Like most chairs, to rock them back, you do have to like push back a little bit. But here, once you push that initially, you don't have to exert any more pressure. And it almost feels like you're floating and locked in this position. And if you wanna give it a little bit more juice, you can tilt back a little bit more. And again, it feels like you're locked in this position. And if you ever have to come back up to tight, you can move forward and it feels like it's really kind of adapting to you and the pressures that you're putting on it so that you can type. However, it's not all rainbows and butterflies because if you want to go all the way back, 
you can't. Like here, if I wanna go all the way back, I do have to exert quite a bit of pressure on my legs right now to get me in this full back position. The lowest I can go is probably about to about halfway back. And then if I want to go all the way back, what you have to do is you have to relieve some of the pressure you're putting on the front side of this chair. So if you have something like a footrest, and you put this here, by lifting your feet up, you are removing some of the pressure on this front here, and that's gonna allow you to swing back a little bit easier. And even like this though, I can't go fully back. I can go most of the way back. The best way to go fully back very easily is to remove all the pressure on the front. And how do you do that? Well the legs. I was talking about this earlier. If you put your foot up on the legs and you do this, you can see how my legs are no longer exerting any pressure on this front. So if I go back, I can lean back really easily. So if you're someone who likes to lean back, you get zero control over how loose it is. The only way you can do it is if you can prop your feet up high enough that you're exerting almost no pressure on this front here. And that's the only way that the chair recognizes, hey, you're allowed to go back now. The arms come in three different configurations. You can get a static arm, a height adjustable only arm, or this fully upgraded suspension leaf arm. And this arm does not move. This arm just stays like this. And in my opinion, this arm is not worth it. First of all, it's using the same mesh as the chair. And this material is not the softest in the world. So if you are bare armed and you kind of move it around, it does feel a little bit rough. But the biggest issue is this hard plastic edge here. And what it means is that when you sit normally, that it's gonna rest on your arm and it doesn't feel good. It feels like it's digging in a little bit. And here's the thing, when you lean back, you wanna pull your arms back a little bit. Now it's kind of running into your elbow a little bit. It's jamming into your elbow. Now I would say get the, the height only adjustable arm instead of the suspension leaf, but even then those arms are gonna be pulled back just like what you see here. So instead of resting normally like you would like this, you're gonna feel like you're kind of pulling back on it to get that arm support if you like your armrest. One of the benefits though, or two of the benefits is that because the arms are so far pulled back, you get a ton of leg space to spread eagle and whatever you need to do. And it also means that when you tuck under a desk like this, your arms aren't in danger of slamming into the desk like you would on most other chairs. The seat on this chair, as mentioned, is deep and it's using a mesh material. And because it's using mesh, it means you don't have to worry about two things. One is color staining. On cushion, if you're wearing like blue jeans or something, it can rub off on lighter cushion material or fabric material. And two, it means that you can pass all your SPDs without worry that it might retain some of your butt shame. Now, this is a comment that I get. Everyone's like, you're so mature. It's like, dude, that doesn't happen. Guys, it can happen, okay? If you are just going nuts on your chair after a long time, it's possible that cushion can absorb some of your butt shame. So that's all I'm trying to say, okay guys? Now, this mesh is a little bit scratchier than the Aeron, but unlike the Aeron, it's not using the hard plastic edges, which means it's gonna be great for people who like to sprawl their legs out. However, it is using a hard plastic edge, so that means that it's not gonna be perfect for those who like to curl up in their chair, even though there's plenty of room in the chair to do so. The seat uses a single run of mesh that runs all way up to the back and the back is where this chair begins to fall apart for me. The backrest is shockingly bad, especially for a Herman Miller chair and especially for a $2,000 chair. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but you can see how taut the seat mesh is and then you can see how loose the backrest mesh is. Like I'm not barely touching it and you can see it just wobble. Like it's, it's ridiculous. And what this means is that you're not getting as much lumbar support and you're not getting as much back support as you want on a mesh chair, especially on one that suspends you. Because what I've noticed is that I was sitting in it out for a very long time and I felt just back pain. And I was like, what is happening? Why is this happening? And it wasn't until I sat on the embody that I realized why. Because the embody is, the back is not only thick and you know, not mesh. So not only is it more material to give you back support, but you can also crank it and tighten it so that if you're pushing back on it, it'll push back on you. This on the other end, if you push back on it, it'll just keep saying, yeah, <laughs> it'll just keep letting you come back. And because of that, I just, I just couldn't do it. I had to get up after a few hours. And here's the thing, every time I sat back on it, I was like, ooh, this is nice. And after a few hours, I'd be like, oh, okay, I can't do this anymore. One of the cool things though, is that the backrest, the tall, if you get the tall version, it, is, it does get very high. And this offers something that a lot of office chairs don't, where if you sit on it normally, it's gonna give you shoulder support, which is, again, a lot of chairs are too short to allow this, especially if you're taller. Now, it can give you head support as well if you're on the shorter end, again, I'm five foot six, but I, as you can see, if you're sitting straight up, it's not ever gonna touch your back in a way that's natural. The only way, or your head that's natural, the only way you can do it is if you scooch back and obviously nobody sits like this. The only way you can use it is if you're fully leaned back, but even here, 
you can't see anything. You can only look up in the sky. I wish it had like a headrest that you could pull forward, that you could like look like this at your screen or enjoy a movie like this. That would be really nice. You could get a little pillow and tuck it in there and you have that option. And so if you're really, really tall, you're obviously not gonna get the headrest like I'm getting here, but you will get shoulder support like you won't get on most office chairs out there. So that is a big benefit of a chair like this and of a back this tall. The Cosm is a beautiful chair, although a very, very, very expensive chair. And it can work if you're looking for a beautiful chair that you only sit on for a couple hours at a time. If you're looking for a workhorse chair, I highly recommend you check out some of Herman Miller's other chairs. I've made a couple videos, which I'll link here. Please check them out. And until next time, guys, stay safe. And as always, stay honest.